and welcome back to Bunter's Yard. And today is a request for Sam, who's one of our new uh, subscribers. Just joined us and he asked if we could uh, show how to do a paint fade on a well, BR Blue, but um, I haven't got a BR Blue uh, that needs anything doing to it. So uh, we're going to do it on this one, which is our uh, GBRF, obviously. Uh, music, by the way, is uh, a selection of Samba tunes today, just to get you in the mood for holidays you may have missed for the last couple of years. Anyway, so enough of that. Right, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to do a fade using oil paints. Now there's a few ways of doing this. Obviously you can repaint the whole thing using uh, various shades of uh, your livery, but that's uh, a bit long-winded and quite sort of destructive, I guess. And uh, you'd need to reapply the liveries and so on. So this is a bit simpler and um, non-destructive that's the uh, that's the buzzword today so i uh, got a little bit of white oil paint in there and a couple of brushes which i've just flashed across so one's a big soft brush and that one is just to apply it so uh, we only need a tiny bit that's way too much oil paint in there that's going to last forever um, but anyway it's uh there we go that's better let's get it in so we can see it nice and close so um, the paint straight from the tube we don't need to add anything to it at this stage and we're just going to dot a little bit on and just going to brush it in and the idea is to just blend it in until it's uh, until there's no sort of marks really so it's blended and seamless so with our soft brush we're just going to give that a little uh, little brush over a good thing of oil paints, and I've mentioned this loads of times, and if you was watching on Instagram last night when we had uh, uh, the little live chat with um, Westfield Docks and uh, Dib Sun in the yard, then we was talking about this sort of thing, and it's a technique that we've used a few times now. Uh, oil paints are great because if you get it wrong, it's just a little bit of odorless thinners, and you can take the whole lot off and start again. If it's not enough, just add some more. Uh, if you come back in the morning after you've uh, had a sleep, you realize that it looks awful um, the paint's not set the oils have not set and you can uh, use your your thinners and then take the whole lot off again so uh, I would really suggest you get oils um, just only a couple of colors black white maybe a couple of shades of like a rust color um, but they last forever so they they may be an investment these tubes they're not they're not particularly uh, cheap but um, I would definitely invest in, the, in a couple of colours and some of the oil brushes that we've used before. I'll leave the link down below for the oil brushes as well. So anyway, we're just going to keep on going around and we're just going to uh, blend this in as much as we can. Now if we want it more faded, we can add more fade. We're going to use a couple of effects in a minute just to uh, mix it up a little bit. But for now, we just need to do this. Now I'm not going to do the whole loco. I'll do just this, uh, this panel. And then I'll do a little bit more off camera and I'll finish it another time. I won't do it all today. I just wanted to get this little bit up. Um, just as a little sort of technique. You don't, I've weathered a class 20 before, um, which I'll put the link uh, down below and uh, up on the screen about now. So try not to add too much of this oil paint. Um, because if your paint gets um, soaked into your brush you need to change the brush basically you don't want too much on it. it's really a fairly dry technique so that's why we're not using any thinners at all so if you start to use thinners you need to change your brush don't use the same brush with that thinners because as soon as the brush gets wet um, it's going to be no good for this part of the, uh, the process I can tell from the marks that are on the top that the uh, the brush is just a little bit too uh, too loaded with oils now. So I'm going to swap that out and get a different brush. I think I'll give it a go because it's leaving the marks rather than uh, rather than um, sort of blending it in. So let's just swap the brush over, get another soft brush. There we go. Let me just brush it in a bit more now. Um, Faded paint is never going to look consistent. It won't fade exactly the same from one side of the panel to the other. So don't worry about getting it 
um, perfect because it won't look that way in reality anyway. And in fact, what will happen is that some parts just won't fade at all and some parts will fade a lot more. You may get complete panels that haven't faded because they may have been replaced or they may have been painted differently uh, at the factory. So uh, in the well there, we've just added in some odorless thinners. Make sure it's correct thinners for oil paints um, and not just a acrylic thinners. They are totally different. So we're just gonna get a little bit of, uh, so we're using a little bit of tiny sponge here and we don't want too much on the brush, on the um, sponge. We don't want to soak it. So we'll, uh, we'll dab a little bit off on the tissue. And what we're going to do here is just on the uh, area, we're just going to stipple it just a little bit. And this creates a sort of a little cloudy, blotchy effect um, where some areas haven't, um, haven't faded the same as other areas. And we can soften that down if you want with a little brush or you can use maybe tissue paper or a cotton bud or whatever you choose just to create that sort of stippled effect. The, uh, the, the, the idea is and the goal is is just not have it um, a consistent or shade of whatever that fade is um, so we're adding a few of these patches in just to sort of mix it up a little bit some more just add more on top just be careful because it isn't totally dry yet so you will uh, affect some of what you've already done it will sort of blend into that uh, if you want to lay it over the top completely just leave it overnight to dry and then you can uh, start again so I've added the fade to um, a few more panels but it's just a little bit too consistent so we've just got to uh, again, just add a bit of variety in there. Now I might decide that this whole panel, let's say uh, somewhere down the line, um, if you pardon the pun, on uh, on this Class 20's life, um, they've replaced that panel. It will be a different colour, it won't have faded as much and it will be a darker blue. And we can just use the odourless thinners on a brush. Now we're not going to, uh, it's not, the, the brush isn't saturated. So we're just going to put some clean thinners on wipe it off on the blue cloth just to uh, we don't want it too wet as so I'm running around we need to keep control of this and take as much time as you need to do these panels um, you may just want to do sort of a portion of it and leave the edges um, with the fade or the other way around uh, whatever you choose to do And to create some runs, let's have a, a softer, flatter brush. And uh, again, dampened with the thinners, really not too wet, otherwise it will go horribly wrong. And we're just gonna add some streaks. As I say, they will weather and fade differently. It's just, uh, just a streaking effect. top uh, maybe those two in the middle there so just a, a brush dampened in the thinners again just stipple it on and then we'll use something to soften it in a moment we'll use the sponge or a cloth and then just play around right until it looks correct and the yellow as well so the ends of this uh, oh if you've got it on a um, you may have wasp stripes, this works on, on that as well. Just dab it onto the, uh, not, not too much there, that's it. 
exactly the same, it's going to blend it in. A bit more difficult to see with the yellow, but it does definitely add a fade. Um, we'll just blend it in, and then it's exactly the same. We can add, to, uh, we can maybe clean the door back and make that look like a replacement door. Or we can add streaks as well, so we can do the same with the flat brush. We'll just uh, drag that up. Difficult to see on the yellow, but uh, it's quite a subtle effect. And that's it. So I've, uh, off camera, I've just weathered this using just powders. Um, use no airbrush at all with this one. Um, so if you're not uh, equipped with airbrush, then uh, this may be the technique for you. Uh, quite simple, straightforward, and if you get it wrong, you can kind of wash it off again and start again. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at Bunter's Yard. <laughs>